all right guys welcome back in this video we are going to quickly customize the Django admin panel if you can see the admin panel is only showing the company name right now we cannot search and all that so we're going to create some custom uh, functionalities and then customize the look of the admin so we're going to do that by the, with the admin.py file in our app file <coughs> so what we're going to do is simply import from Django that country dot out dot at me then we're gonna import user user at me as base at me as base user All right, that's all we need to create our me. So next, we create a class, and then let's call it my user at me, which is going to inherit from that base class we imported, which is a base user at me. So the first property we're going to do, uh, define is the list display property and this uh, this function or property whatever it is called it used to define the feeds that we want to display in the my user model so like right now it's only displaying the company name because that's what we set as a string uh, parameters here in the string function I mean that's what we set here so it's only displaying the company name because we set it as a string uh, parameter here so we want to define the feed that should be displayed with the uh, list display function so here we want to display the email feed and then the company name so it should be a string the company name then the phone no, there's no need for the phone. We can just define the date join. And let's say last login. And check is add me. Lastly, you can also add is active. Okay, so these are the list of feeds that will be displayed in the my user model panel or admin panel. And okay, then we set the search feeds. Yeah, we're going to define the feeds that we can search user with. We can search user with the email, and probably we can also search with the company name. Alright, so we're going to define the read only, read only feeds that we want the date join. read only and also the last login last login to be read only okay, that's that and also we have the list feature or result set it on empty topo and we have the list This feature, this we set this feature to last login. Then we can set the feed set. For now, let's just make it empty. Okay. Then let's set the ordering 
want to start with the email okay so now let's quickly add the my user add me add the my user add me here to the register then model so if we save and then head back to our admin and just refresh okay you can see the feeds that are displayed now you can see the search feeds that we also defined we can search user let's take for instance we have like a thousand user we can search our user feeds with the either the email or the company name also look at the list and feature that we defined all right okay one last thing if if you click the add user button you will get an error and the reason is that because we've created a custom user we've override the custom create user form, uh, form normally the custom create user form of Django recognize the username as the login feed and some maybe password and all that and now we've changed that uh, model feed so we have to also change the the create user form, uh, form that the Django model use and there are two ways we can do that is either we recreate the uh, user creation form or we define the feeds that the user creation form should use by just adding the add underscore feed set which is equals to a topo and here we create another this is one way that Django did, did, does it. So we just flow along. Then we have a, a classes property and which takes in to pull white. Then we define the feeds. This equal is going to be a tuple of sorry a tuple of feeds then the feeds should be email password one and password two so what are we doing exactly is that we are actually telling the user creation form to use this feed this feed set to create new user so when one, whenever I want to create new user through the admin it will use this specific feed if not if we didn't specify this and we did not recreate the user creation form it will always give us an error because at that point when we try to create user it cannot find the built-in defined user creation form feeds because we've already changed that in our custom admin or custom model me so when we do this let's let me double check and see Yes, we are good to go all right so let me save and test our code let's see if our time is okay let's refresh all right so if we try to create user now let's see if it will work okay you can see the form now to create user has appeared you can use the email feed the company name phone password one and password two because we specified it as the add underscore feed set 
all right so that's how we can customize this admin you can add user through the admin and then see your list of users check if the user see if the user is active so if as an admin you know the users that are active in your site and those that are not active all right so i'll end this video here so in our next video we'll be creating the registration uh, view so that users can register after the admin all right let's see you guys in the third video